the Jabra Evolve 2 65 headset. This is the best wireless headset for Microsoft Teams hands down. After having used it for my own conference calls working in the office or at home, this is the best headset in terms of comfort level, audio quality, ease of use, price, and it's easy integration with Microsoft Teams. Now we'll be going over this in the four parts. First, an unboxing of the headset so you know everything you're going to see once it's shipped to you. Second, an overview of all the headset features. Third, an audio test of using the Jabra headset so you can hear exactly how it sounds. And fourth, a demo with how it works using Microsoft Teams. Now for me, I wanted a headset that was wireless, comfortable to wear for long periods of time, has really good audio quality, and makes taking calls very easily, especially if I'm on Teams calls for at least three hours a day. If you guys are interested in having one of these, I purchased mine off of Amazon and I'll include links in the description bar down below. So part one, unboxing. I love how Jabra designed the packaging for the Evolve 2 65 headset. The branding looks very sleek and sophisticated. You'll even notice that I got the USB-C version at the top right corner. When you purchase it, you can either get the USB-A or the USB-C option. Many of the features are listed on all sides of the packaging, such as the noise isolating design and the 37 hours of wireless battery life. But more on that later. When we take off the outer packaging, we're left with the gray box. And the first thing that we see is the link of where to download the free Jabra software to personalize and update all of our firmware. When we open up the lid, we see the very first thing is the quick start guide. Now this tells us how to use all of the headset features, how to connect it to your laptop for Bluetooth connectivity, how to mute and unmute your microphone, and of course, how to increase or decrease the volume and how to answer or end a phone call. On the right side of the box, we have a black leather case containing the headset. When you pull the case out, we see the warnings and declarations. And what's really cool is that Jabra designed this packaging making everything out of 100% recyclable material, eco-friendly, and very nicely done. Nice job, Jabra. The case looks really nice. It's very soft and firm enough so that it protects the headset. Now on the inside, there's a small sun-in pocket that stores the USB dongle so it doesn't get lost and we can also see the headset inside. Now I really love the fact that this comes with a leather protector case because it makes it incredibly easy to travel with when I have to go into the office, pack my bags, or visit different locations for the company I'm working for. Taking everything out of the case, we have the Jabra Evolve 265 headset, the USB dongle, and the USB cord that charges your headset by connecting it to your laptop. The dongle itself has a very small, thin profile, and it makes it very easy to insert into your laptop. It's clearly marked Jabra so that it doesn't get confused with other USB dongles that you might have. Now on to part two, overview of the headset features. Taking a closer look at the Jabra Evolve 265 headset, the very first thing that's noticeable are the memory foam ear cushions, which are clearly labeled left and right. These are by far incredibly quite soft. The design is smooth and I could literally wear this all day. The cushions are meant to fit over your ears and because it's memory foam, it gives you a much higher level of comfort than you'd experience with other headsets. There's also a cushion at the top of the headband which provides a really snug fit around your head. Comfort wise, honestly, the way that Jabra designed the headset is it fits around your head very comfortably without putting too much pressure on your ears. Now other headphones that I've used in the past, they put way too much pressure on my ears and with the Jabra Evolve 2 ear cushions, I can barely notice that I'm wearing them. You also notice that the angles of the earmuffs can also be adjusted so that they give you the best fit over your ears. The ear cushions also do a really good job at blocking out external background noise when you're wearing them so that you can focus on your call at hand. On the right side of the headset, is the boom mic. When you move the boom arm up, you mute the microphone. Now when you move the arm down, you unmute the microphone or you enter a call that you're receiving. On the right side of the headset are also three buttons. The top button is to increase volume, the middle one is to play music, and the bottom button it decreases the volume. The center button on the side can also be used to answer or end phone calls. Now onto the key specifications of the headset. The Jabra Evolve 265 headset charges by directly connecting it to your laptop through the use of a USB cable. It also comes available with a charging station. So I'll include all links down below in the description bar so you can research and check them out in more detail. The headset itself it's surprisingly very lightweight at about six ounces. So when you do wear it, 
You don't even feel its weight at all, especially given all of the features that it has. Inside the microphone boom arm, there are actually three microphones that are built in so that when you're taking on a call, it will pick up your voice much more readily and they won't hear as much background noise on the other side of you. In terms of battery life, if you charge the Jabra headset for 15 minutes, you get up to eight hours of battery life, which is very impressive. If you charge it for 90 minutes, you get up to 37 hours of battery life, which is amazing. So if you only have about three to four hours of conference calls in one day, one battery charge is more than enough to last you an entire week without having to recharge. Now from my own personal experience, this is really good in terms of battery life because other headsets, they usually only have about 10 to 20 hours of speaking time. So if you're working remotely from home or you're working in the office or traveling, this is the perfect headset for you. The other thing that I love about the Jabra headset is that it is completely wireless by connecting through Bluetooth using your USB dongle. So if you have to step away from your desk, you can mute and unmute yourself using your headset and be up to 100 feet away and still participate in your meeting. What's also really cool is that when you're on a Microsoft Teams call, a red LED light will appear on your earmuff as a way of letting others know that hey, you're on a conference call. So it's a great way for others to know not to interrupt you so you can focus and be more productive on your call. What's also even more impressive is that this headset can connect to up to eight devices. So for example, your cell phone, your laptop, and your iPad. And what's even better is that the headset also comes with a two year warranty. Now, before we do an audio test of the headset quality itself, make sure to smash that like button if you're getting a lot of value out of this video. Now let's move on to doing an audio test. I'll be recording my own voice onto my MacBook Pro so you can hear how the audio quality sounds. Right now, you're hearing my voice through my camera microphone, so let's switch on over to the Jabra Evolve 2 65 headset. I'll be recording my own voice using my MacBook Pro so you can hear how the audio quality sounds. Right now, you're hearing the voice through my camera microphone, so let's switch on over to the Jabra Evolve 2 65 headset. Testing. This is the first audio test using my Jabra Evolve 2 65 headset. My headset is connected through Bluetooth using the USB dongle that's plugged into my laptop. Now when you listen, you play this back over, you'll notice that the audio quality, at least to me, it sounds so much better than other headsets that I've used just because of how the dongle is set up with a laptop. It's very clear and crisp. What do you guys think of the audio quality with this headset? Let me know and drop me a comment down below. So I'm hopping on a Microsoft Teams call right here. And the first thing that you'll see is that the microphone is now set to the Job Revolve 265 headset. All right, so we have officially joined the Microsoft Teams call. And the very first thing that you should notice is that the red LED light now appears on both the right and the left sides of my earmuffs. It's a really great visual indicator to anyone else that's in your room or maybe you're working in the office to show that you're actually in a working meeting. Now what's really cool about this headset is that this microphone, when I move this boom arm up, it will unmute my voice. Now that the boom arm is lowered down, it has now officially unmuted my voice and you should hear my voice loud and clear. Now let's test out how well the Jabra headset removes any kind of unwanted background noise. I'm going to use my phone to play some background music and first we'll hear it right up close to the microphone and then I'll put it to the side of my desk and you should be able to hear a difference with how well it filters out any kind of background noise. All right, so this is the music, it's playing loud and clear right up to my microphone. So you should be able to hear this pretty much loud and clear. I'm going to move this up and away to the side of my desk. So at this point, you should still be able to hear my voice pretty much loud and clear and the background noise should have been eliminated as much as possible. Now to test out the wireless Bluetooth capability, I'm going to step outside of the room for about 20 to maybe 50 feet and you should still be able to hear my voice loud and clear. All right, testing, one, two, three. I am officially about 20 to 30, now 40 and 50 feet away from the room and the computer itself. So you should still be able to hear my voice loud and clear since I'm still connected using my Bluetooth dongle. All right, so I'm now walking back to the room and you should now still be able to hear me. 
All right, so what did you guys think? Were you able to hear my voice even though I was away about 50 feet away from the computer and the Bluetooth dongle? Isn't it pretty incredible how you can easily mute and unmute yourself by lowering and raising your boom arm? The other thing that I really like is the wireless Bluetooth connectivity because I can easily walk away from my desk or computer and if I have something urgent or if something I have to take care of, I'm still connected to my conference call and I can still listen in and speak on the call if I have to. Now the big question, is it worth it? The Jabra Evolve 265 headset is a very good product with a very sleek and cool design. Not only is it extremely comfortable to wear, especially if you're on conference calls for more than three to four hours a day, but it also has excellent audio quality with a very impressive battery life. I highly recommend this to anyone who's looking for a solid headset to use in their day-to-day -day work, especially if you have to use Microsoft Teams. It's very easy to use, it includes a charging cable as well as a small leather protective case, which is extremely handy if you have to travel and visit different locations. If you're on conference calls for at least three hours of the day, then you're going to be on calls for at least 15 hours in a week. And assuming there's about 50 weeks in a year, then you're going to be on calls for at least 750 hours in one year, which is insane. So you definitely want to invest into a high quality, reliable, and comfortable headset that will last you a long time. The Jabra Evolve 265 headset gets a solid A from me, and I encourage you to grab a copy if you're looking for a headset that's more comfortable, has excellent audio quality, easy to use, especially for long periods of time. And don't forget that it also comes with a two-year warranty, so it's definitely worth the investment. Now, if you're looking to level up your career, watch this video next to learn the biggest ideas I gathered from reading the best leadership book of all time, How to Win Friends and Influence People.